Welcome to a video all about what your person is feeling about you, thinking about you. What are they thinking, feeling about the connection at this time? Uh, we're going to be looking at all of that. Take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. Feel free to check out your other placements. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box if you want to see what other messages there might be for you. So let's jump right into the reading for you, Aries. For Aries, Spirit. Regarding the person they are in a connection with or thinking about at this time. What messages do you have for Aries regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What is this person thinking about Aries at this time, Spirit? What is this person thinking about Aries? What are you thinking about Aries? What are they thinking about Aries? Please just wait for me just a little, no, please wait for me just a little bit longer. Can't read for some reason. What else? What else is this person thinking about Aries? What are they thinking or feeling about Aries? I should have told you how I felt when I had the chance. What else? What are they thinking or feeling towards Aries spirit? Towards Aries at this time. What are they thinking or feeling about Aries? Even though we are apart, our souls are united. So it's very clear that you're not together with this person because you're waiting for them. Bottom of the deck, I don't have the courage to face you. And maybe something happened here that keeps them apart from you something in your past something that maybe happened in this connection this person wishes they would have been honest with you or would have opened their heart to you when they could this must have been in the past here so let's get some more insight with the tarot give me some more guidance insight spirit for Aries regarding how their person is thinking or feeling about Aries. And Aries, we're also going to be looking um, later on at your person's energies or intentions at this time as well. For Aries. Guidance, insight please, for Aries. What, are, what is their person thinking about Aries? How is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Aries? Ace of Wands. Okay. What is this person thinking or feeling about Aries? King of Wands. Okay. So um, there's attraction. There's action, passion here. And intensity for sure. What are they thinking or feeling about Aries? What are they thinking or feeling about Aries? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. And Aries, you can flip the roles if they resonate more for you. The Hierophant, interesting. I'm gonna have to clarify the Hierophant to see, is that the reason why you are apart? Is that what this person wants with you? We'll have to see. Clearly, they're thinking of a new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. This is all about something new being created something that you are passionate about a new adventure of some sort tell me about the ace of wands spirit ace of wands please why is the ace of wands here the hermit virgo energy someone's really thinking about this maybe they're wondering how they can make this new beginning happen the hermit is definitely someone that's thinking of the future seeking answers you know trying to get enlightenment or clarity and they've withdrawn to do that so i feel like this is someone that's doing some serious soul searching here tell me about the ace of wands you could be dealing with a virgo another fire sign a taurus two of swords yeah there's an indecision here someone's undecided someone is unsure guarded 
Bottom of the deck, seven of cups, yeah. And the moon, yeah, Pisces energy after that. Someone literally has no idea or is wondering about what to do. Um, maybe there is a lack of clarity with the moon. Maybe there are some sort of illusions here because the seven of cups and the moon can both be cards about illusion. But I feel like more than anything, this is about a choice because I have the two of swords here. So maybe someone's trying to pick the right cup here. We have the five of wands after that. Maybe they're thinking about conflict, challenges, obstacles here. Tell me about the ace of wands. Why is the ace of wands here? Ten of swords, wow. Knight of wands at the bottom of the deck. So this is someone motivated. But the ten of swords tells me... Um, two of wands again yeah there's definitely a, a choice that someone has to make and i think it's possibly here a choice to end something we have the two of cups after that let's get some insight into this ten of swords why is this ten of swords here why is the ten of swords here what is this ten of swords about why is the ten of swords here nine of cups Queen of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, the Fool. So this is about a new beginning. Someone needing to take a risk here. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles after that. So your person is thinking if they should take a risk for this new beginning. If, if they should go after their wish fulfillment. If they should go after what they desire. What attracts them. What, dr what drives them or entices them with the Queen of Wands. And I'm also getting they have to be bold. Maybe take this risk requires, taking this risk requires them to be less of a hermit and more of this queen of wands, ace of wands, king of wands. Knight of pentacles is here. So it's almost like there's a practicality here. Um, something that maybe your person is taking very seriously like this, you know, it's a calculated risk. Tell me about the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here? Wow, Ace of Cups. Well, that's pretty clear. Bottom of the deck is the Empress. Wow, yeah. So, hmm. This King of Wands is attracted to love or who they love. There's passion here. This King of Wands is very passionate. Um, they're natural leaders, fearless leaders. Tell me more about this King of Wands. Four of Wands. I mean, I don't. Do I even need to clarify? This is so like to the point here. There's this almost like this person is a little bit like almost too focused, <laughs> but the decision is not made. I feel like the the drive, the motivation, the passion is there, but the decision hasn't been made. And I have two here, nine of pentacles and the five of wands. So I feel like this five of wands is important to this person. They're thinking about conflict here. Um, I feel like this person has a lot of love or care for you. And I also feel like maybe, um, they know that things with you would be peaceful, there would be harmony, it would be stable, at least, or a happy home. So why the Five of Wands? What is this Five of Wands? What is this Five of Wands doing here? The Sun. Why is the Five of Wands here? Why is the Five of Wands here? The Wheel of Fortune. My goodness. Two Major Arcanas. And we don't have a lot of Major Arcanas here. We only have uh, three, four, four on the board. So I feel like this conflict is big, basically. Huh. I, I got the message that this person, they're... Um, 
It's almost like a pessimistic energy. So someone's probably wondering that things are going to be way worse than they really are going to be. Um, like they're picturing the worst. That's the energy I'm picking up here. I'm also getting, you know, and it's interesting because in these, in this deck in particular, the sun does have this wheel. Both of them have the wheel in some way here. So I feel like timing or fortune or, you know, the divine is important. Can I get a clarifier for the sun and the wheel of fortune? Sorry, can you give me some insight into the sun and the wheel of fortune, please? The six of cups. Yeah, so this is about the past. I feel like the past, it's almost like either this is a soul yeah our souls are united so there could be a situation here where there is um a soul tie or some sort of soulmate faded uh faded uh partners something like that past life connection something where i feel it's like it's like divinely guided this connection but i'm also getting timing almost like the past is something that this person has to fight for or there are challenges that are tied up here to this strong connection. I'm not sure why. Is it because of this higher font? Why is the higher font here? Why is the higher font here? Death, okay. Scorpio energy, why is the higher font here? Another card for an ending, which the 10 of swords is here. So it's almost like um, maybe this is the situation that has to end. Let's see. Tell me more about the higher font. Justice. Libra energy. My goodness. Tell me more about the higher font. Can I get one more? Can I get one more for the higher font? The hangman. Look at all these major arcanas here. Um, this is a big factor so for some of you this person is married 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 like i got so many cards here that symbolize marriage at least for me as a reader specifically we have the king of pentacles we have the fool after that we have the higher font we have the um death card and even the hangman sometimes for me when it comes with these other cards i think of someone like trapped or stuck in a, a, a situation or a commitment. So some of you are dealing with someone that needs to get divorced. I mean, justice, death, higher font, king of pentacles, the fool. I mean, clear as day, clear as day. Some of you are dealing with someone that needs to get divorced. If you're not dealing with someone that's married, they need to put an end to this expectation of others. Um, this, this need to be looked at in a certain way, their ego, their pride, um, how they appear to others, um, the pressures that they put to fit in or to conform that this would need to end or change for your person But I think most of you are dealing with someone married Tell me about justice Tell me about justice Why is justice here? Strength wow more major arcanas Leo energy This is going to take courage. That's the problem. <laughs> I feel like this is a situation where your person needs to be strong or have courage to do this. And that's why we had over here the two of swords, two of wands. Um, we had the seven of cups with the moon. They really aren't sure possibly how something will go. Um, I think all they think of is the worst possible outcome with the five of wands. Um, I feel like if they were up to them, they would be free already. This Nine of Pentacles, especially in this deck, the Nine of Pentacles is a masculine energy. And I, I think a lot of you are dealing with a masculine um, energy. So, you know, this is someone single, independent, secure. Tell me about this person's energies or intentions towards Aries. What are their energies or intentions towards Aries spirit? Moving forward. Movements, ending cycles. We have true love. Anything else for this person um, that Aries is dealing with? 
we have hidden feelings and victory lap so i don't think you really know that this person is feeling this way aries i think they've really held back here while all of this is going on i feel like this is someone that sees you as their true love sees you as someone they want to be successful with um but i also think that they need to move forward from something they need to leave a cycle in the past they need to move forward into a new chapter so that's what I have for you, Aries. This is what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If it resonated for you, if you enjoyed the reading, please hit the like button, subscribe to see more readings from me. Leave me a comment down below if you'd like to share if this story resonated or if you just want to say hello. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you so much for watching once again and take care.